I'm Alex Bennett, a reporter for the Baylor Lariat, and today I am reporting to you about some enthusiastic Baylor Quidditch players who started up their own club for an imaginary game and continue to practice and play competitively against other teams across the nation. They are currently preparing for the Brooms on the Brazos tournament, which will be held in Waco during the end of January, and it will be quite a sight to behold. My name is Brittany Ripperger. Um I'm a neuroscience major at Baylor University, and I'm a senior. All right, excellent. So you're currently, everyone's currently practicing for the Brooms on the Brazos tournament, uh, and you were there last year. Can you tell us what it was, what it was like? Yeah, of course. It was a tournament that Baylor hosted. Um, there was probably about 10 different teams that came around the Texas area, um, a couple from Louisiana too, actually. And it was just a day full of Quidditch. It was a one-day tournament. Um, it was a lot of fun. There was about 200 probably, give or take, Baylor students that came in and out to watch the game. And it ended with a, the final Baylor versus UTS with a um, kind of like a candlelight game just because the light, the sun went down and we didn't have any lights on the field. So that was kind of fun. A little hard to play, but it was fun. It was also a very cold tournament. I do remember that. Um, but overall success, we won the tournament. No injuries. It was great. All right. So... Uh, it is also being held this year, correct? It is, January 30th. All right, and what can people expect from attending this game, and how will it be different from the previous Brooms on the Brasses tournament? Oh, good. Well, I think one of the biggest things for this year is that the competition is probably going to be a lot better than it was last year. Last year, we didn't have a lot of the big-name teams come. This year, we have Texas State, who's one of the best teams in the country playing, coming to this tournament. Um, we're also, uh, UT's interested in coming. They're the d three-time defending world champions. Um, a and M's coming. They're getting a lot better this year, so it should be a really interesting tournament with a lot of higher caliber teams coming into the mix. Mm -hmm. So why don't you tell me a bit about how you first got into Quidditch then? Um, it was when I was a senior in high school. I went to a conference and there was a Quidditch tournament like indoors, um, and it was Rice versus A&M. Um, oh no, no, it was Rice versus UT. And uh, I just thought it was hilarious and really fun. And this is when the snitch could run off pitch. So he was running all around the conference. And it was really funny. And then I looked it up and I realized that Baylor had a Quidditch team. And I actually ended up liking their Facebook page and like followed them my senior year of college. And like the first thing I wanted to do when I got to Baylor was try out for the Quidditch team. What do you think is your favorite thing about Quidditch? Uh, it is. 100% the people in it. Um, I mean, the sport's really fun. I love playing it without a doubt. But I could easily walk away from the sport and not care as much if the people weren't as awesome as they are. But I could never leave these people. So they're the people that keep me back, keep me coming back. So um, would you have any advice for anyone who's considering joining Quidditch or? Do it. <laughs> Try it out. You're running on a broom and people are throwing things at you and it's weird and hectic and crazy and people are laughing and yelling and it's awesome. Like it looks really intimidating when you first get into it, but like the second you step on pitch and you start playing with these people, you will love it. And there you have it. That's Baylor Quidditch in a nutshell. Students and friends from all sorts of different walks of life, different years and majors, have all come together to share in their enjoyment, either of the sport itself, of the people they've befriended, or of the simple joy of the series Harry Potter. So it seems like it would be a good idea for practically anybody to at least try it out and figure out if it's a good fit for you, because a lot of people have got a lot of enjoyment from this game, even if it was originally just made up and adapted from a fictional series. So, with that being said, it would be a great idea for anybody to come to the Brooms on the Brasses tournament in Waco on January 30th to get just a bit more of a glimpse of this exquisite and fantastic game.